When creating a digitally designed surgical guide with Blue Sky Bio implants and direct cut drills, the whole settings for the surgical guides are automatically set by the software and no modifications are necessary. If another guided surgical solution is going to be used, the user should go to the guide tube panel and modify the guide hold diameter as necessary. The guide hold diameter should be set to be around one tenth of a millimeter larger than the outside of the metal cylinders that are going to be placed in the surgical guide. The guide hole wall thickness, which is the reinforced area around the hole in the surgical guide, should be set to 2 millimeters. Once the settings have been changed for one implant, they can be copied automatically to all the other implants by pressing copy tube settings to all tubes. After the modification has been done for all the holes and implants, the user can continue with designing the digital surgical guide. The brown cylinders that appear on the screen represent the hole in the surgical template that the metal cylinder will be inserted into. The guide panel was designed to work from top down. First, confirm that you have the correct model selected from the drop-down list. It is recommended to select Lock Implants and Virtual Teeth to make sure that implants and virtual teeth are not accidentally moved during the design of the surgical guide. Use Automatic Rush is usually used to confirm that no part of the surgical guide within the defined diameter will be higher than the top of the printed hole. The software will automatically remove the part of the surgical template in the surrounding area that is higher than the printed hole. This guarantees that there will be sufficient access for the handpiece without any interference from surrounding elements of the surgical guide. Guide quality should be changed to high or to very high as long as there are sufficient computer resources. We are going to skip the scan appliance option now as we are not making a scan appliance surgical guide we are designing a digitally designed surgical guide. The correct draw type should be selected. Remove undercuts is generally used to make sure that the undercuts are automatically counted for in the surgical guide. All the settings that we have put in the guide panel until now can generally remain the same from case to case, allowing the digital design of the surgical guide to start from the draw curve process. The 3D view can be maximized to full screen to help with the manipulation and the drawing of the curve. The shift key on the keyboard should be pressed and then using the left mouse button and dragging the mouse, a curve could be drawn on the model indicating the area for the surgical guide. If you'd like to rotate the model, release the shift key, rotate using the left mouse button and then hold down the shift key, left click and drag to continue drawing. Close the curve by returning to the start point. Once the curve has been indicated, the placement can be fine-tuned by selecting Edit Curve. The nodes on the curve can be grabbed and dragged using the left mouse button to fine-tune the placement. The user should make sure that the lines of the curve do not crisscross at any point and that there are no sharp points or corners that exist along the curve. Once the placement of the curve has been confirmed, the Fabricate on Model button can be pressed to fabricate the surgical guide. We can view the surgical guide more clearly by hiding the model. The surgical guide now shows up in the surfaces panel as its own object surface. We can also turn off the holes and the implants and the abutments to see just the surgical guide. We can see the area that has been cut away by the automatic brush to make sure there's full access of the handpiece to reach the hole in the surgical guide. The brush tool can be used to smooth out the outside of the surgical guide. 
pressing brush and holding down the shift key will allow the user to brush and smooth the outside of the surgical guide. Of course, the brush tool should not be used on the inside of the surgical guide as it will affect the fit of the surgical templates. The label tool can be used as well to add text to the surgical guide. The surgical guide could be positioned in order to determine where the text will appear and the size of the text on the surgical guide. Pressing apply will emboss the text onto the surgical guide and will be printed together with the surgical templates. When using the brush tool and the label tool, make sure the correct surface is selected from the drop down lists. The surgical guide can then be exported by going to File, Export Data, making sure the surgical guide option is checked off and by pressing export. The software will now ask where you would like to save the STL file. The STL file can be saved to your computer and sent for 3D printing. Switching to the direct cut parts panel will show the user the relevant metal cylinders, implants, drills and drill stops for the case, based on the implants placed in the treatment plan for Blue Sky Bio parts. Pressing the Add Parts to Cart button on the bottom of the panel will automatically open the Blue Sky Bio website and add the relevant parts to the cart. The quantity of each part being ordered is automatically populated by the software based on the case. The user can increase or decrease the quantity or not order the part at all by unchecking the relevant parts.